Are you having issues setting up the controller for Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End on Steam? In this video, I will go through the steps to set it up so you can get your modern day Xbox controller to work with it. Now, most Steam games do make good use of Steam controller support to set up the controller. However, I guess due to the fact that you have to customize and manually configure the controller in Pirates of the Caribbean, it doesn't work with it. So how do you get it to use that Xbox controller? Here's how. First, start a new game. Go to options. Set the player one for gamepad. Then go to player one configuration. Now you're gonna be doing this on your keyboard and have both near you. Press enter on the command that you want to set up. The first one should be light attack. So enter and then press the light attack button. Generally, I want the X button to be my light attack on the Xbox controller so I press enter and I hit X then back out then press down on the keyboard to get it to go down to another option and then press enter again and select what you want to do this time it will be the heavy attack which I set to the Y button keep going down the list and doing this the second page is even going to have you set up what control directions you want the left analog stick to go it gotta go that in depth in order to set it up it'll take about two or three minutes but once you're done hit backspace two or three times go to the main menu start the game on your keyboard and you should have full controller support for the game itself anyways let me know if this helps i do quick tip videos here both on the technical and on games so i like to keep these videos pithy if you found this enjoyable please leave a like and subscribe it helps the channel you guys have a wonderful day bye I have my good eye on you. <laughs>